Tough times require mature faith, and faith comes by hearing God's Word. Today's chapter by chapter summarizes 1 Corinthians 16. Thanks for joining me. The believers in Jerusalem were famished from a famine. Paul was returning to Jerusalem and was taking a collection from the Gentile Christians to help the Jews. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, he asked the Corinthians to pitch in. Each believer is to give according to how he's prospered. Make a lot, give a lot. Make a little, give a little. That's probably a fair way to proportion our giving today. The degree to which God is blessed should be the degree to which we give. Paul was uncertain as to his travel plans. He always says, as the Lord permits. Jesus was his booking agent. Paul wanted to hang out in Ephesus because some doors for ministry had opened. And as is often the case, open doors brought open opposition. But Paul showed great courage in the face of great persecution. Perhaps we would find more open doors if we were less intimidated by those who try to shut them. We need to be brave. Face it, sometimes it just takes guts to be a Christian. Paul also urges the Corinthians to submit to the leaders of the church. If we can't submit to human authority... How can we submit to heavenly authority? Finally, Paul reminds the Corinthians to love each other. Bathe your behavior in God's love and you can't go wrong. Paul closes with an Aramaic word, Maranatha, which means, Lord, come. I agree.